Okay, in this video I'm going to show you what I think is the best UK VPN in 2020. Now I'm not going to rattle through hundreds of names and then make slight differential points about them all. Because basically a lot of VPNs are very, very similar. The technology is well proven, so as long as you install it properly it'll be secure. Um, the main differences come to the client software, to what you install it on. Um, the speed of the servers and the IP addresses that it actually uses. So let's start. My favorite straight off the bat is NordVPN. Okay, uh, I switched to this about two years ago um, basically because it was there was a cracking deal for three years <laughs> and um, I got fed up of my old um, VPN, didn't have versions for my smartphone and tablet and stuff like that. Um, so it was a bit of a fiddle to get working and NordVPN has been fine. Here it is. You can see this is the um, this is on my laptop and you can see these are all the servers in different places. It doesn't really give you, there's a lot of countries here, but it doesn't give you a real idea of the scale of um, how many servers NordVPN has got. It is huge. Just for example, my, I use mostly UK servers, but you don't pay anything more for the, any more of them. So let me just type in United Kingdom and let's just get a look about how many servers um, United Kingdom has got in NordVPN. If I just scroll down there, it's starting at 1000, 1053, 1100, 1200, 1300. Um, I don't know when it finishes. I never go this far. 1400. There are hundreds and hundreds of servers um, for the UK and the same with some of the more popular countries for the US and stuff like that. Smaller countries there are less servers but there's still a wide expense. Now you should decide on what countries you need when you're picking a, a, um, a VPN. This is about UK VPNs so Nord really kind of specializes in that and the US so they've got literally hundreds of servers on each of those. If you need um, to get access to a different country, just check, make sure that you've got a VPN in that country. Okay. Um, one of the difficulties sometimes is more obscure places they don't cover. Okay. Reliability. Uh, this is another bugbear with lots of VPN providers. It's not so much the VPN, it's more the client software. Often it doesn't close down properly. It locks your internet connection. It doesn't clear the settings when you've been using it. I use my VPN a lot and I turn it off, I turn it on, I turn it off. This is where you get problems. NordVPN has never let me down in that. So I will turn it on to watch the news on the BBC and then I'll turn it off and start browsing in wherever I happen to be. Let me just show you quickly about how well it works and I'll cover the next thing, speed and geoblocks on this as well. Let me just say... I go back to NordVPN and um, let me suggest if um, this is important to you, you should really try and set up some favorites. Okay, you saw many how many hundreds of servers they are. Pick your favorites, select them, <coughs> click on the little heart, and you can favorite them. So I've got a favorite few servers for um, BBC iPlayer. Let me connect to one now. So here I am, I'm connecting to UK, so you can see it's connecting to United Kingdom server there. Uh, in a couple of seconds it will be enabled and then we'll, um, there we go, it's connected. We're now connected to UK VPN. Let me just go and show you how it works. It's just... We'll go and go to BBC iPlayer. Okay, so we're using BBC iPlayer through a Nord VPN connection, okay? So hopefully you can see how quick this is. Uh, there we go. Uh, if I wasn't using a UK VPN and I was outside the country, I'd get a little message saying it wouldn't work here. Let me stream something, the FA Cup. There's Gary Lineker there, and um, we're just going to stream this. And you can see no error message, works fine through that particular server. Uh, let's just see what sort of speed it is. You can see, hopefully, it comes up pretty quickly. They're streaming it now. And there you go. I'll just pause it there. Uh, it's no noticeably difference. There is an impact from um, 
using a VPN, obviously, because you're adding another server to the, the root, but not a huge amount. So um, I think that gives you an idea. It's great at accessing GeoBlocks because it's got so many servers. Um, if the main reason that uh, VPNs get blocked from different sites like Hulu or Disney or HBO or BBC ITV is if they put too many people on the same IP address. Uh, and that's what a lot of the cheaper companies do. Nord is one of the cheaper companies, but it's got the scale to be able to have loads and loads of servers. So you rarely get that problem. If you use the auto connect, I'll just show you the auto connect. Um, sometimes you'll get this. So if you just click on the UK and just go to any server, I found often you get problems with that. I think it's the algorithm sort of puts them on um, everybody on the same server sometimes. So pick your favourites and you won't have a problem. Uh, I can't remember the ta last time I got blocked on BBC iPlayer doing it my way, but the auto connect, there's, there's a chance it might happen. Pick I don't know, half a dozen different servers that for the countries you need. Put them in your favourites and that'll be it. And that's pretty much it. So um, price, price, yeah. There are a couple of VPNs cheaper than Nord, but not many, to be honest. It's certainly at the bottom of the range. Um, but however, to get those cheapest prices, you need these two, three-year deals where they knock 70% off. Otherwise, it comes in as one of the more about average then but as soon as you go to the three-year deals they knock 70 percent off the price per month so for instance i think i'm on it's something it's certainly around about three dollars slightly less than that a month which is is next for nothing from what i get from it so nordvpn if you go to the bottom of the pay uh on the description there, there's a link there to nordvpn that gives you the best deals so these change all the time currently there's 70 percent off I think some other discount as well. So um, whatever you that link takes you to is the, the best deal at the moment. Okay, so that's um, my opinion, the best UK VPN, NordVPN. If you disagree, put something in the comments, but I'll stand by my choice. I'm quite happy with it. And thanks for watching.